It's your boy, Gambo! And we are in a forest in Japan around 1556. Look at that, Jasmine child. Hey, Mataza. Hey! What brings you here? Isn't it obvious? Master no. Master Katsui and I are going to build a castle for Lord Nobunaga. Lord Nobunaga. Just do it, huh? Don't make a monkey out of us. Oh, classic <laughs> asshole Katsui. Ah, uh, no one thinks it's funny. What are you laughing at, monkey? That's that's bad. Don't do that. Oh! What could it be? Why are you using an acorn to fish, you foolish child with a God. Oh. Look at the bum on that jasmine baby. Oh, that's a good pose. Look at the butt on that child. Oh my god. Jason Momoa. You must be Kuroku. I've been looking for you. You want to join the Avengers? You must be a funny kind of human looking for help from the likes of us. Yeah, I'm gonna be in a very long miniseries. It's gonna be drawn out and saturated as fuck. Oh, I haven't seen it because it doesn't exist yet at the time of this recording, but man, Justice League will be a journey, I will tell you that. Building a castle from scratch? that would take way too long. Ah, the best plan is to seize a fort and turn it into a castle. All right. So Sunamata is Koroku and the Kawanami clan's turf. With them on our side, we can whip up a shiny new castle in no time flat. Well, that was the plan. But things aren't looking that simple. At any rate, we can't afford to let Mataza beat us to it. Come on, Hedy. Let's get to that fort. <coughs> yeah, we can't let Goro Majima win. Can't do it. He'll get his own clan before Wooly will. We cannot have that. No, 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 no. Not allowed. Yep, as you can see, this will be a shortcut later, but... No, oh, I mean, who cares? We'll, we'll get there later. It's it's kind of nice seeing a shortcut so obviously put right there. So you know, oh, I, I can work my way around. Kind of builds it up. Now, this is a slight bane switch because you've got these guys here, but you also will get spotted by another person up top at some point, so be very careful on who can see you in these areas. What really got me the first time I played through this level is that there's random spots in the geometry where there's just water pits. It's very easy to drown and fall in this level. And while I was playing it, I actually had a few odd issues where the frame rate would drop and I would have a hard time seeing ahead of me because suddenly the frames would just pop in and out and it would be very strange. So if you notice that I seem like I kind of just walk over things, that's, that's occurring on my end that you might not be able to see in the recording. You never knew because I pulled out my motherfucking fisty cuffs. Slam him down, wham, bam, kablams. We don't need this shortcut, we just need to continue. See, yeah, that that was very bad frame break, wasn't it? Ah, he was dead before he even left the ground. Got him. Overkill, yes. Fun? Yes. Eh, double tap. Oh, he's limber. But dumb. Thank you, thank you. Huh? Boom, 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 boom. And he's done. I have to say that that slam, like the downward stab animation for fists, always amused me because it's just so fluid and cat-like. We do like these things. Now, the real thing you want to do when you're fighting the Kurosawa Tengu is just lightning. 
lightning based elements are the best way to fight him for fighting these types of bird men both in Neo 2 and Neo 1. It is something they share across both games. If you have a lightning weapon, that's good. If not, I hope you can DPS and heal past his damage. Because these birdmen, they were abominations to fight. I tend to pop Sloth just in case so I can make sure I can minimize the damage I have to take in. A lot of my mindset while I'm playing is to save and conserve enough elixirs that I can make it to the boss room in one go. I don't like using elixir, I like hoarding the fuck out of it. It's just something I do. Yeah, double whammy. Gotta love that stamina depletion into the parry. Because this woman's got a strong sexual aura and she will not be killed quite as easily. It takes a hot minute for me to peel back the yama baba baba babs kebab lops before she tries to kebab me with her kebabs. We do not like this, and it is bad. Another mechanic that's fun in the area is their version of drop bridges also create sub areas because they divide up the water. You then can transverse the empty sides and then go down below and realize, oh man, there's titty snakes and weird water. Oh yeah, the uh, Omi boys, Omi, Omi boy, Omi Bazu. Yes, it's the Omi Bazu. That's right, that's right. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong because I'm angelicizing words, and I do that out of habit, so I'll apologize for that. Pop a gun, fire damage for water boys, because yes, of course, fire and lightning are very, very frightening me. Galileo. Galileo Figaro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm very familiar with the blade. While you were studying the water blob... I was studying the blade! I'll just show myself out now. Anywho. Here we are, down below, hearing the wet, sloppy sounds of our feet hitting the ground because this is a Japanese game that wants to fully accent that. I mean, at least the... the grass is not as loud as it would be in, like, a Souls game, like Souls 1. Scholar of the First Sin. God, you would know you're in a grassy area because you just hear... And it would just go on and on and on and on. Ah, Jason Momoa! Bad news for you. This isn't really our turf anymore, you see. But I'll show you around a bit. Of nothing better to do. Oh. Why, thank you. You large man that I could transform into. His skin is actually pretty good. Playing as him is kind of cool. Him and Yasuke, my boy. Yasuke, what a cool dude. Now, yeah, let's make a movie about that man. Ah, yes. Now, looking back on this footage, that was, in fact... A fucking firebomb that was thrown at me while I was also being shot with a meteor from a penis armed aberrant soldier. Uh, they kind of remind me of Bushwhacker from The Punisher just because of their big penis arms. I hate it, I don't like it, and it's bothersome that I have to be reminded of such a thing because uh, Punisher villains kind of suck, in my opinion. I mean, Punisher as himself, I'm pretty sure will be incredibly irrelevant in the next 10 to 20 years depending on how politically correct things continue to move because white dude who's got damage and a gun does not quite spell superhero anymore, I think, in most forms of pop culture and nomenclature, which kind of explains how downhill the Punisher has been in pop culture lately. I mean, aside from Matt the Muscles, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people know or care about the Punisher. I don't mind Frank. I would like to see, like, an old man Logan approach to Frank, maybe? Just to kind of age the character and make it more... Uh, more telling, perhaps, his feelings of loss because it's an old lingering feeling. Similar to how Logan, an old man Logan, has to deal with the feelings of preventing the loss that he feels for others 
in a very little ooh that was a good shot okay. in a very literal sense like he's he's going back and he's preventing what happened to him that sort of thing except frank doesn't get the benefit of ridiculous x-men timelines he has to do this in a grounded situation I think that might be a very nice telling way to start and end a storyline of the character in the current context. Otherwise, I mean, what all will we do about white dudes with guns that keep showing up in pop culture for comics? I mean, him and Red Hood, I mean, at least Red Hood has, again, a slightly youthful, interesting demeanor of being a street kid. Frank doesn't quite get that benefit, but also he's a remnant of the Vietnam era, too? I don't know. There's things about Frank Castle that strike me as things that will not age well. I don't know why I have to talk so much about the Punisher in Neo 2, I now realize, but I mean, here here we are. Oh yeah, that parry could have been real good. Fucking love the parry for the fists. If I can get footage of it, I'm going to explode when I see it of how I can just do the full follow-up, because that parry has a specific condition if you fully upgrade it, dependent on your opponent's stamina. If your opponent has little to no stamina when you parry and you do the full follow-up, you do an air slam grab, and it is better than several forms of coitus. It is delicious. It is an oral fixation. It is immaculate. And I enjoy it greatly. And yes, I am getting stir crazy. And I play video games because of that. Who's going outside? Oh, Bubbo. Back off, penis arms. None of that today. Nah, uh Be gone with ye. Ye spoiled me, focus. Yummy Papa doesn't like headshots. Hey. Oh god, she's purple of sexual prowess. And she likes hanging out in that fucking shed. Oh no! Oh, oh, Friday the 13th. Ow. Now, what, again, you might notice there's a lot of water that you don't quite have an answer for right away. So, finding a way to tank things before you can just take control of the situation, advisable. Because there's just a lot of lose, lose, lose in this situation right now. Because of the placement of that aberrant soldier. Penis arm, make it difficult. Staggering and difficult. We do not like these forms of difficult but endeavor to persevere and you shall thus we have our ultimatum progress or don't I choose to progress oh fucking purple ninja yokai oh man these big oni man scaries big scaries we don't like it the ninja ones are the worst ones because they're nimble they have iframes when they dodge and the DLC even makes a more terrifying special variant that has a fucking wind hand cannon. And can just start doing Moonlight Greatsword just waves at you. Very annoying to deal with because he also does super dodges. Like he does fucking full key releases. Perfectly timed key pulses when he dodges. So he just has stamina for years. YEARS! Ah, oh, what a big glowing monk! Get out of here! No, not the belly flop! Well, he didn't hit me, I guess that's okay. I'm just gonna keep spinning! Spinning and winning! Screaming and memeing! Stabbing! And blabbing! Yeah! Spitting hot rhymes! Twisting my rhymes into double helixes. That's where I am because I am tired! Lightly inebriated and tired. Look at this double penis arm action with me and my friend Jason Momoa. Ah, uh, I want that on a shirt. That'll be good. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Well, I've got fire damage and I'm fighting a bit Birdman with a little, little hat. That's my favorite thing. I need to do a bestiary too on this game. I'll do that when I'm done with the base roster with like minor explanations for each type of monster in the game. But I'm always amused at the fucking big Kurosawa Tengus, the scary boys of good timing on that stab. They got these tiny fucking hats on and it's cute. It is legitimately amusing and cute and I am mad. I am mad due to these results in our timeline. Birdmen get cute hats. I get to stay home for incredibly long periods of time. Ah. Woo! Captain Fever's bad, people. That's all I'm trying to say. And you might have noticed the sound cue for the Amibaba. If you can hear her sharpen her blades, so if you aren't just like darting through areas and you're deciding to take somewhat interesting slow walks through the area, you will hear the Amibaba approach. Except I didn't just stare because she was patrolling and not sitting down. If they are stationary, you can hear them. If they are not, you can be stabbed by them. Unless you're spinning. Really good. And you have a friend like Jason Momoa on your side. Jason Momoa is reliable. Mostly. When in doubt, buff it out. Increase your damage resistance. Toss your shirt again. Beat the shit out of the penis armed bushwhacker samurai and keep going. Because we do not like the bushwhacker. I never did find this Kodama. I'll probably just look it up later. I'm sure it's pretty obvious, but it was not obvious to me in the moment. So, let's just... Let's just move past it. I won't. I'm gonna continue to struggle with it for a few minutes. I'm gonna enter several stages of grief where I try, and I, I think about it, and I don't, and then I do, and then I don't. And I kind of fixate on it for a hot minute, and then... You know, like a kidney stone, hopefully it just passes. And the pain and the anguish we had in that moment together just go away. Uh, maybe I'll just take a look. One one more look. I mean, what's the worst? I mean, I could just kill time. Just fill the air. Just farting about. Oh. Oh. You know, here. Where'd you go? Where's my baby boy? No, no, didn't, no, no, there's no secret. And we're back. Ah, the progress we have not, oh, wait. Wait. There he, oh! But why? That was progress. And then I, I was somewhat miffed and figured, you know, I have the Kodama sense around my equipment that I'm not going to change and only level up in the process, because my build is pretty much done. I'm just improving my equipment forever and grinding out other equipment to make my current equipment better. Occasionally, I'll switch to a regular katana and fists, because I have the dragon ninja set for just my weapons, and that gives me an extra health bonus, so I can be extra tanky and make it a lot of mistakes. But usually, I'm going to pop my old dutch and start spinning out a man. You start spinning out a man and you spread him in two. That's what I do. That's what I do. Oh no, not the monk. Ah, jeez. I sure hope I can handle this opponent. Sure haven't fought a bunch of those before. Well, while he's stomping on Jason Momoa's perfectly formed abs, I'm going to start just hitting him with a thousand paper cuts and he's going to try and do the same. I will deny this. And we will continue from there. Wash. Rinse. Repeat. Wash. Rinse. Repeat. Wash. Rinse. Repeat. High stance now. Yeah, cha-cha real smooth. Hmm. Monk gave me his power. I will now use it for good. And avoid that man. Don't need it. Not a conflict I seek to indulge in. Oh no, another shortcut. Oh, he's beelining it. 
I gotta beat him there? Oh, I didn't. We're gonna bathe together. That's more like it. Now yeah. I feel like we really know each other. That that sentence should be creepy, but it's actually just kind of amusing. I'm just picturing two dudes just kind of like slapping each other on the back going, Hey, you like to relax in a hot pool of liquid? You do like to marinate in your own bodily fluids? Why, of course, large turtle man. Covered in hair. Greasy. Long. Black. Hair. I need an adult. Ah, it's Titty Snake again. God damn it. We don't like Titty Snakes up in here. Nope. That's a bad. This area is another place where I fell quite a bit my first time around, so be careful when you play for this area. If you do, a uh, viewer person who might watch this that isn't me, watching my own videos in despair. Embarking and remarking on my editing prowess that I do and don't have on occasion. But yes, uh, do do avoid puddles of water and being paralyzed and then pummeled to death by penis arm bushwhacker samurais. All of that is a bad time and I don't recommend it or wish it on anyone. No, thank you. Don't wanna. No, thank you. Don't wanna. Not Monk. Monk, don't you know I hate being shot at? Can you... Can you just... Uh, no, don't jump on me. Bad Monk. Mr. Monk. Mr. Mad Enneke. I just... I just want to not be shot at that man... By that man. He keeps shooting at me. It's bad. You know, we're just... Gonna gonna remove the problem yeah how do you feel just not knowing what to do now I'm standing just a foot underneath you he didn't know he just didn't know what to do and he uh, uh, and then I killed him and he died and be careful when you're dashing for this area you see this man he'll throw bombs at you remove the problem and it won't be a problem combo sama 2020 critical combo really Making good points when I'm tired and semi-inebriated at, like... Oh, God. Oh, why, why am I awake? God, why am I always awake? Sad! Disappointed! Oh. Well, we're just gonna... Come to blows now, Yami Baba? Oh, no, we're not, because you drowned. That's okay, because I drowned there a lot my first playthrough. I just kept running into it. Like an idiot. I'm feeling real dumb. Real dumb and bad. Look at this! He's a sexual purple Tyrannosaurus using fucking dark weapons! These guys are terrifying! He's got fucking possessed beast blades! Oh, no, no, he's over there. Oh. Ah. Ah, the pain. Look at the DPS this man can do to me. Again, I was armored and I was healing through the hits a little bit. But look how close to death I am to is. Thank God that I also heal from everything I do in the game to damage other things. Health on damage is such a strong thing that I hope they don't nerf later because it it helps me. It really saves the fat from being in my bacon. I don't know which analogy I wanted and I couldn't commit to it. I'm gonna I'm cool down by heating up in a spa. Maybe that'll sort me out. Who knows? Uh, yes. Oh, it's ready to rest here. Now I walk past it. This is a hint for your boss fight, everyone. See it? See the claw marks? There's a single Geki that'll be here, and you can use it just to sort of feed off of it get any small drops you may or may not have and then you know make sure you have all your buffs on I'm gonna pop all mine 
Now well, let's go in. Appreciate Toketsuro's animations at all times. He's very... He sells things good. He's very physical. This is a good example of this. Right. Here we go. Leave this to me. Don't worry, I got this. For Lord Oda Nobunaga. Kitty, 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 kitty. Look at his face. Look at him looking just completely insane. Aww. Okay. Okay. That's big. That's very big. My name's Tokechiro, and here's my friend Wooly. Wooly Man. Come on, get over there! He's like, you, 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 good, 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 yeah, he's like, good luck! Good luck fighting that hell weasel! And we're like, okay, slow it down. And the basic mechanics of the Kamatetsu is that it's a big spinny boy. Like all bosses, it has a grab, I guess. I have never been grabbed by that enemy until just now, so... That is as news to me as it may be to you, viewer. For I did not know he could grab me, and then he just did. He just scorpion speared me up his tail. Now, what I tend to do with bosses is I manage to see what the health race is. Since that's honestly how I play the game, I rally it like it's Bloodborne, I kind of want to see if I have to commit to a serious health race with my opponent. If I do, what you want to do is break their stamina. Once their stamina is broken, lay into them as heavy as you can. Ideally, whatever damage you could not rally from, you can now rally from here. If you cannot do either of those things, that does defeat the build that I made, and that's why I have a double up for this, again, semi-broken, not really all that great mechanic of your yokai shift. My damage is pretty good at what I do there. But the damage makes it go away. Also, I cannot dodge correctly. Which does happen from time to time. Mm, and then I noticed that water was a good damage source, so I start trying to fist this weasel. <coughs> ah, pardon me, I needed to clear my throat while talking about fisting weasels. Yeah, these are things I say. What of it? What you do with my words is your business. Uh, that's actually a quote from Brandon, so we're gonna keep that there. Yep. I do not have a plan going into this ordeal. I didn't think I would be fist fighting and after imaging, you know, Weasel, who has wind strikes. But, you know, life has a funny way of working out. We don't always intend the things we do every day. And I always forget to, uh, when I can, keep pulse on block. Because that's something that's good. Doing that will keep the stamina there. And having the stamina there is good for you. The human who wants to live. As opposed to the human that is the dead. Always remember to be the live, not the dead. Gets a little drawn out during this, and I feel bad, but I am just trying to fist a weasel, so once I can break his stamina, this won't be as much of a problem. There we go. Let's get him in the face a little bit. That hurt him. Hmm. Let's see. Let's slow him down. And get a hit. Get a few hits, get a few more hits, and bam. My skill with the fist was just the gist we needed. Good, good, good. Well, I think that is everything I want as far as the talking. Uh, enjoy the rest, and thank you for your time. Like, share, subscribe, all that if you care. If you don't, okay, bye.
He says if you're here for wood, go ahead. Gang's all here. What is this? Didn't I tell you, Mumia? This is Victory Tukichiro style. No killing required. Not all yokai are evil, you know. Right, Hidi? All right, let's head back to fix the fort. One night of hard work should do it. <laughs> 